Daybreak Church. I know it's dark outside, but I'm hoping you can see me by the light of this roaring fire. Now then again, it might be better if you couldn't see me on account of what I'm wearing. But if you can't tell, I'm, I try to dress up like the Pope, or at least the closest thing I could find to dressing up like the Pope. So now you're thinking, you know, oh, oh great, he was serious when he said he wanted us to call him Holy Father. Of course I wasn't serious. I'm totally fine with his holiness. That is good enough for me. Uh, but no, I, I dressed like the Pope because I want to tell you a true story about an actual Pope, Pope Clement VI. Now, Pope Clement VI served as the Pope in the mid-14th century when another pandemic broke out in the world, the bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death. Now, this pandemic was far worse than what we're experiencing today. And when it had finally run its course, um, experts estimate that between a third to two thirds of Europe's entire population had lost their lives. Now, while the plague was ravaging Europe, uh, many theories emerged as to what caused it and how it was transmitted from person to person. Now, naturally, many people, including the Pope, thought it was on a, an expression of God's wrath. Others thought it happened on account of uh, three certain planets aligning, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. Uh, Clement's personal physicians thought that he would avoid catching the disease if he surrounded himself with bonfires like this one. And so that was exactly what he did. And it worked, although probably not for the reason that his physicians thought it would. You see, the intense heat that was surrounding him, uh, created by the fires, kept the fleas away that were actually spreading the disease. Well, as a result of the plague, uh, many people began to doubt the authority of the church in society and in their lives, in part because they didn't understand why the church couldn't do something to stop it. And then this picture of the leader of the church isolating himself from the pain and suffering around him, it certainly didn't help in their perceptions. Now, to his credit, Clement VI questioned the advice of his physicians, and eventually he stepped out from behind the flames and he ministered among the people, um, acting as a priest should, you know, administering last rites and caring for the sick and dying. Like those people in Europe so many years ago, a lot of people are wondering, where is God in the midst of all of this? Because of Jesus, we know that God is right in the center of it all, suffering alongside us. We know that God is not watching us from a distance up in heaven, though far removed from all the pain and sadness in the world. Instead, because of Jesus, we know that he chose take on human flesh to become one of us so that he could save us. He stepped right into the fire in a manner of speaking because of his great love for us. We may never have answers to all of our questions, but we know that God is with us and that gives us hope in the midst of this darkness. Now, a lot of people are also wondering, where is the church in all of this? You know, how is the church relevant to what we're going through? You know, we are God's hands and feet in the world. God's plan was and is to reveal himself to the world through us. So let's be the church God created us to be. Let's find creative ways to minister to one another and to our community and to the world. Let's be the proof, the evidence. People need to see that God has not left us that God is truly among us. God bless you.